<laughs> you know, they just told me that I have to go up and introduce Robert and tell my story. <laughs> and I never thought about my story. Uh, so, but my story is I started back in uh, 2010. Uh, I would say my spiritual slash mental journey started then. I wanted to find answers and uh, there were burning questions in me. Um, and so I decided to leave the corporate world and went to India. And I lived there for five months thinking that, uh, you know, eat, pray, love story will happen to me. <laughs> and I really, really got disappointed. And from that, uh, there was lots of anger because there was lots of hoping and promises. And none of these promises got fulfilled, and I was still miserable. And then I started jumping from one healing modality to another. Uh, energy work, Reiki, yoga, lots of yoga, lots of meditation. Um, and then I did other stuff, new agey stuff, and it really went nowhere. And it's funny because how I landed in Faster FT is through a spiritual book called A Course in Miracles. And the Course kept saying, uh, talking about the ego and the ego and the ego, and at one point it said, fix your mind and, you know, you fix your life. And what brought me to, to all these healing modalities is really a health crisis. So sometimes it seems we need that big crisis, that contrast in life to push us. Especially if we're not intelligent enough. That's what I'm learning about myself. That I'm not proud in all that seeking because really there is there's that unintelligent part of me that, that keeps falling into trouble and, and going and seeking. Unfortunately, that's what happened with me. And so I started seeking how will I fix my mind. I've learned about Faster FT back in 2012. Uh, I believe Robert came to Toronto or Oakville City. And my friend was pulling me, he was like, let's go, this, this, will, will, this is good for you, you'll, you'll, you'll be happy with this, this is what you want. And she showed me a video and I was like, oh, I've, I've seen so much weird shit and, <laughs> and this is another you know, co con man selling his, his own therapy. And so I dismissed it. And uh, so last year in 2017, I was looking for all these answers. I want to heal, I want to heal, I want to heal. And, uh, and so f from that book, A Course in Miracles, I started looking at, <coughs> at videos and uh, I watched a hypnotherapy um, um, video and I thought, oh, my, maybe hypnotherapy will, will work. So I went to a hypnotherapist and he looked at me and he was like, y you can't heal through hypnotherapy, but my friend has this tapping book and he showed me the book. And she said she's healed from Lyme disease. I'm like, oh, there's something there. So I went looking for tapping, tapping, and Faster FT has been always there. My friend always talks about it, but I don't know how I dismissed this whole thing. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, then I had this strange feeling. I was watching YouTube, and then I saw Tiffany Jeffers' video, and I'm like, oh, she's so pretty, <laughs> 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 but she's been so sick. And that kind of gave me trust that there's something there. And um, so I, I contacted Tiffany, and uh, she, she uh, graciously gave me 30, one, one hour of her time for free just to see if, if I can, you know, if, if we can work out something together. And then she gave me really valuable advice to go and immerse myself in the courses. And she says, take every course that you can take, take live courses, <coughs> take the online course. Next thing I signed up. And as I was going through the online course, um, and I'm not exaggerating, I would cry throughout the course because this, I'm like, why did I wait for 37 years for this to happen? And I knew that this makes sense. And it's kind of like in front of you, but you never, you just dismiss it. And it's, it's really, it's funny. It's funny how the human mind works, how it rejects things and, uh, um, so I started learning, 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 and then, as you know, I have lots of questions. And that's because I feel this is, uh, for me, it's a diamond. Uh, like, I've been looking and looking and looking, and, and there comes a man, and it's very rare that someone like Robert Smith would come into your life. Someone who, who's, who's still humble and caring, and cares about people more than anything else. Uh, and wants you to learn and leave from here feeling independent and empowered. And I really feel that I want to be a Robert Smith, and that's why I 
ask all these questions. And I look, I look up to Robert and, uh, and my questions come out of sincerity and, and seriousness. And of course I have that crisis in my life that keeps pushing me to do things. So sometimes I'm freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> But nonetheless, I, I really feel at home now that, that whatever the healing modalities I've been through, they've been talking a lot about be positive, don't be negative, do this, don't do that. And I would get frustrated and really, really angry that what are you talking about? How can I stop being angry? How can I that give me something to work with? And we've, I've got all the answers now. I'm not saying I'm healed mentally or physically. It's on the way. It's a process for me and I'm learning a lot. And I'm so grateful and I really feel privileged. Robert is one man that, that you know, we're lucky that we are living at the same time with, with someone like Robert Smith. He's a modern age sage. I'm not, I've, I've went to lots of sages and there's nothing woo about him and that's wonderful. There's no need for new AG woo-woo stuff to come into the picture. We can, from whatever walk of life you come from, this will make sense to you. And I'm really, really happy that I'm here. And I'm thankful for you guys letting me ask questions. <laughs> <laughs> and for Robert for answering my questions. It really helps a lot. Thank you. So I want to introduce uh, the man from Oklahoma City, uh, the one and only Robert Smith. Thank you.